What's up everybody? I told y'all that I would update you on our move. I actually just put in an offer on a house in North Carolina, so I am pumped. Kind of my first time doing any of this, so it was pretty hectic. I'm pretty nervous. I shouldn't be, but I think we found a cool house that we can do a little work on while we're over in North Carolina and um, fits our budget. So it was pretty cool to go through the process. I think I might highlight it like down the road once it's all said and done, just to like walk through like our friction points and everything. Sarah's raising her hand. Yes? What if we don't get the house? If we don't get the house, I'll be bummed because I want the house, but if we don't, that's fine too. We could, we're still thinking of living on post because it's kind of like with me being gone so much, having that safety net is super nice. And especially with all the kids that are usually on our streets living on post, it's hard to like get that trade off, especially in neighborhoods where like the lots are really large and the streets, like you don't see a lot of kids playing around. You should see it here at Fort Carson, how awesome it is just with our community. But if we don't get the house, I might be a little bummed, I might not be. I, I kind of set it up to where we um, aren't like super desperate and I feel like we're in a good position, but I'm excited just because it's my first time ever putting an offer on a house. So here we go, I don't know. Maybe it happens, maybe it doesn't. Hey, update on the house everybody. We're probably gonna get outbid. Big shocker. Hey buddy, you wanna tell them about our move? Do you wanna tell them all about it? Her mom and dad are super stressed out, yeah? He's like, no, I just want to go to sleep, Mom. All right, you guys, I finally, hopefully, have a moment to talk to you guys all about our move, which is, like, going to be here so quickly. This guy is starting to get congested, so we did not have a good night's sleep last night because I could not sleep listening to him, like, try to breathe and stuff. I was up every hour because I was like, are you okay? Are you comfortable? Like, and then I finally just picked him up and let him sleep like this on me because it was finally like helping it clear. Anyway, that's beside the point of the moving update. So you guys, today is December 1st and we are moving this month before Christmas. I say moving, we won't actually get to North Carolina until January, but our stuff is getting packed up and we're gonna have it in storage and then have it delivered once we're finally in North Carolina in January. So I've mentioned before that we were gonna do a Diddy move, which is a do-it-yourself, like you pack your whole house, you organize the U-Haul or like the U-Pack service. And that was our original plan before I had Little Trip Man. I was like, yes, we're gonna do it, it's gonna be great. Like, that's what we've done in the past, no big deal. And then Banner and I, after Trip was born, the last week we were looking at each other like, we are so overwhelmed, how are we going to do this? Like there's just a lot on our plate right now and so we decided a Diddy move is not our season of life right now even though part of me still wishes we were doing one because just like the control freak in me wants to know where all my stuff is and pack it all up but I just have not had the energy or the time to focus on all that like with rigging getting sick i'm getting congested he's getting congested just too much going on to do that ourselves the army is gonna contract our move out for us basically we don't really have to do a lot to prepare for that but i still am gonna go through the house and like purge things and like clean toys and just kind of pack maybe like our fine china and our crystal and stuff and just kind of get that situated. So we're not actually getting to North Carolina until January. We're gonna head to Texas um, and spend the holidays and the new year with our family and do that. And we also don't have a house to go to, so that's kind of why we're going to Texas. The holidays, it just like works out great. Um, but yeah, we don't have a house. So last clip you saw, Banner, he was saying we put an offer in. We got out bid. We're kind of in the middle on the in-between of maybe we'll buy, maybe we'll rent. We're on the list for on-post housing. Um, they'll offer that closer to the date that Banner has to sign in to Fort Bragg. So in the meantime, we've kind of been looking at houses, putting in some offers. We're not really trying to be super competitive because the market is absolutely crazy. So we're trying to find something that is reasonably priced that we can put work into, minimal work, because you know, Mama ain't trying to do some hardcore renovations, but just like some cosmetic changes. The one house that we put an offer in, we're like, okay, this is cool, this is good, if we get it, nice, if not, whatever. 
if we had gotten it, it would have been a huge relief just because we would have a house to go to and like I could start planning on that. But because we're kind of just like up in the air, it's been stressing me out because like our stuff is gonna be in storage for probably a month and then we're gonna get to North Carolina and then Banner has to go to Airborne and then that means he'll be gone for a few weeks. It's just kind of our life is a big question mark and like a waiting game and with a newborn and an 18 month old, it has not been the easiest thing before. Banner and I just PCSing, we were like, whatever, no big deal, you don't have to worry about anything. But we've quickly come to realize moving with kids is a lot more of an emotional toll on us, um, especially probably because I just had him. But yeah. So since we're gonna be in Texas for around like a month at least, I have to pack all of our stuff for a month, like newborn clothes to like zero to three month clothes and like toys for him, toys for Reagan, clothes for Reagan, clothes for Banner and I. Like it's just kind of crazy. I don't have to pack like the big stuff, but I have to plan ahead to see like, okay, worst case scenario, how long is it gonna take for us to get a house? What do I need to pack? Think of all of the things. And I kind of feel bad that it's right before the holidays because I don't get to decorate our house for Christmas like Christmas presents for Reagan. We had to open, I got her a little slide and we had to open it last night because we can't take that to Texas with us. It's not gonna travel with us. So that was an early Christmas gift for her. It's just a lot going on in this season. I'm just trying to compartmentalize it all and realize that this feeling of like unstableness is kind of what I told Banner. I'm like, I just feel really unstable. Like I, Surface level, I'm handling it, it's great, but I know that at the drop of a pin, drop of a hat, I don't know, what are these things? I'm not really sure. I could just like start crying and lose it at any moment, but for the most part, I'm trying to keep my head above water. I know Banner's trying to keep his head above water as well. He's doing all the checkout process, like going, you have to go around and like get signatures to clear post, so that's what he's been doing. It's like a three day process for them to pack up our house. So we're gonna have to get out of the house. And I don't think we mentioned that we sold Banner's truck for the move too, because we were like, how are we gonna get two cars? And so we sold his truck. We are working with one car right now. He's gonna plan to get something when we're in North Carolina. So we're living the one car life, which is fine because I'm at home all the time anyway. But then like, I kind of realized, well, I can't like go to the grocery store or like do a Target pickup order. I'm just kind of like, here hanging out but so far it's been good it's only temporary now he only has to drive my car to North Carolina but I think our plan is to put a little U-Haul on the back of my car and for the first half of like our moving venture we're gonna drive all of us to Lubbock and then to Austin hang out with our families and then I'll fly from Texas to North Carolina when the time finally comes and we have a place to live when we can schedule our stuff to arrive. It's just kind of crazy that I'm not gonna like see our things for over a month. It stresses me out just a little, just cause of like some horror stories that I've heard from like the army moving or like, it's not even the army moving you, it's them contracting it out for you. So hopefully, fingers crossed, all of our stuff stays clean and no water damage or nothing gets lost because we have friends that like half their couch just got lost and I'm like, yikes but also I'm like none of our stuff is irreplaceable so I wouldn't be too upset but it's still just a pain in the butt if it does happen but all I know is that I have the best little babies and once we get to North Carolina everything will work out everything is working out right now it's just a lot a little heavy at the moment Okay. Yeah. Yeah? Almost ready? You gotta climb up this side. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Climb on up. I'll hold your hands. You gotta learn how to do it the right way. Hands. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. All right, one, two, three. You want to hold my hand? One, two, 
three, go! Wee! Oops, okay, alrighty. Still working on it. <laughs> Did I take it out of you? You wanna take a nap now? Yeah. Yeah, okay, good night. Good night. I tried to coordinate our outfits, black leggings, black leggings. It's like greenish colored shirt. We match, baby. If only I could put your hair in a little bun, but you won't let me touch it. best and just dropped off some coffee and a water for me and of course right as I start vlogging both babies were laying down in their cribs but now I think Chip is wrestling around so I'm gonna have to go get him but I got some time of him sleeping in there which was really nice because I was able to suck out some of the snot from his nose at TMI but he was able to lay down on his back and Reagan is working on falling asleep but I might go get them both up now that I have some coffee. I got at least like 20 minutes out of each of them, which, you know, these days, that's all a girl can hope for. But when Banner dropped off my coffee, he told me that we almost didn't have movers to pack our house. So he had to put in like a week or two ago that we wanted the army to contract out our move. And from then they should have had movers planned for us, but he went and checked today I guess on like the portal or something and or he called because he hadn't heard anything and they were like oh sometimes moves get lost and he's like excuse me what moves get lost and he was like well what do you do if you don't have movers for us and he's like well the guy was like oh I guess you get like a storage unit and then when there's someone available they just move it from there and there was like hold up no that's not gonna work what kind of solution is that and so he had to like call a bunch of people and needless to say we do have a moving company now but if you're in the army and you are doing having the army move you make sure you double check make sure you're on those people and make sure that a glitch in their system doesn't happen and your move gets lost because then you're like last minute scrambling to figure out what you're gonna do because we have to be out of here by a specific date because they already gave our house to somebody else which that was a whole other thing because we tried to push our move and they're like oh we can only push it a week because we already gave your house to someone and i'm like what the heck that wasn't even the 30 day window so it's just been a little crazy but i'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog right here i hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you in the next one bye guys <laughs>